Whoa, look at what we got here. What in the world? All right, guys, so I'm just showing you what showed up on my porch today. So I'm gonna go ahead, go in the house and show you and I'll unbox all of this. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hina with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm just gonna be giving Geyer uh, products a big prop and no, they did not pay for any of this to be said. Um, here's the story. Um, I came from California, left my middle school robotics to come here to Tennessee and I have a second grade class where we're doing robotics in our class. And so I left all of my supplies, tables, mats, models, equipment, everything back in California came out here with nothing. I wrote a grant to get 12 Spike Prime kits in my class. And I wrote the Geyer um, company because they make mats um, you know, for robotics. And I said, if there's something you can do, I'd love for you to just send me anything that you can so I can help my second grade students. And I said, I'll try to do videos here on YouTube to give you guys props and hopefully business sent your way. And so today what I'm not, what I'm not going to do is hype up something that I don't think is worthy of being hyped up. What I'm going to do is test a lot of the Geyer mats. And I also asked for one of those first Lego League tables. I mean, it's not really a table, but it is hopefully able to help me do first Lego League things without having the wooden table. Because at this point, I haven't been able to build one. I haven't been able to get my hands on a real FLL table. And so I said, hey, let me try out your first Lego League table and I have to see exactly what it's made out of and how it's going to be compared to a real FLL table. And so what I'm going to do is put Geyer's products through the whole test and see how they come out. So this video, I'm just going to do some experiments, let you see what their products look like. If you want to check everything out, it's in the description. I laid it all out for you guys so you can check it out for yourself. But today, you're going to actually get to see what their products look like and if it's right for you and your classroom for robotics. So let's go. All right, so this first mat is like a regulation first Lego League mat. It is called Mission to Mars. It is just like a first Lego League mat in the sense that you have to complete missions. And so I will do a separate video that shows all of the missions that belong to this mat. But this is definitely cool and something that I will show you later in the instructions and how to get the missions done. The next mat has different colors on it and I'm not necessarily sure how I'm going to incorporate this into my class, but it has a line following, so let's check that out. The next mat has a huge circle on it that has degrees and I'm sure you're going to use that for turning and turning at a certain amount of degrees. Um, it has colors on the sides that you can use for color identification. So I'm not necessarily sure how I'm going to incorporate this mat, but definitely interesting and I might visit this one um, at another time. This next mat is very intriguing, has a huge um, black box on the outside. It has colors onto the sides, uh, but I'm really intrigued on the spiral here in the middle and seeing if a robot could possibly line follow all the way into the middle there. Geyer also sent me the first Lego League robotics table topper. It's made out of corrugated plastic. They also sent me the wooden frame to keep it upright and supported. Um, and it's portable, it's foldable, uh, but I will use these in a separate video. All right, guys, so there are the products that I received from Geyer. 
Um, definitely the mission to Mars. I'm going to make that a separate video because I wanted to take the time to explain each mission and what to do. But those other mats, um, very cool looking. They were um, smaller in size, some of them, than the mission to Mars, about half the size of the mission to Mars, and were more specific in their um, utilization. Uh, but really cool. Thank you so much, Geyer. Again, check out their website to look for other mats that you might be interested in that might, you know, might be more up your alley of what you're trying to teach your class. But they were so you know, generous on giving those mats to me and being able to use those. And definitely the first Lego League table, I'm gonna use that in a different video to show you what the wood slats will do for your cardboard table. I just used it to kind of house the Mission to Mars mat, but I definitely know that stability and using those walls is an issue. So that's why they provided the wooden um, supports for it and I'm going to definitely make that a separate video also. This video I kind of just wanted to show the different mats that they gave me and I just wanted you to see what each one could possibly do and see if you might be able to purchase something from them. We'll see. But anyway, be looking for a mission to Mars and more specifically maybe some of the other mats in detail and other videos. I just kind of ran out of time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am I'm Mr. Hino from Mission's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.